Hello YouTube, I'm going to be making a video today on how I make my RL water for my shrimp tank. Now, first of all, you're going to have to go out and purchase a RO unit. Um, this is a pretty good one, I've been using it, I like it. And it's uh, not too expensive. I think this is around $80 on Amazon. So it works pretty good, this is it right here. Um, it came with some pretty bad um, hookups here, so I kind of made my own thing. This was uh, leaking, and I kind of put this together, got some pieces from Home Depot, and now it's not leaking. So your tap water is going in, getting filtered. Um, your bad water is coming out. I wouldn't recommend this putting on your plants. It's um, not good for them. It's too high in all the junk that's in your tap water because this is concentrated bad water if you will and then this is the good water that comes out this is usually about 10 or 12 TDS which is a lot better than 400 which is around my tap water and so in about an hour or so this bucket will fill up with RO water and I'll be able to remineralize it and I'll show you guys how to do that in a second Okay guys, now that we have the RO water ready, um, where you're gonna need uh, a couple of things. One, you're going to need a TDS meter. This uh, tells you your total dissolved solids inside your water. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn this on. And it's zero parts per million, the PPM. So right now, it's saying 11 which is really good um, usually with um, the RO units they get lower but I've had mine for about six months now and 11 is still really good the next thing you're going to need is this um, salty shrimp comes in different types there's uh, GH uh, plus then this one is GH cage plus there's a lot of different types usually they tell you what kind of shrimp it's good for um, so you can check this out um, and it's good for the shrimp it's good for the plants etc so and I usually have a net just to stir up the water so I'm going to go ahead and stir up the water and give me one second okay so this is what the salty shrimp looks like it's this powdered form and usually about less than one spoonful does the trick I would like to get it nice and running and then you're just gonna get this and slowly just put it in here that will dissolve and then I will show you the TDS meter once it's dissolved okay so the salty shrimp is all there's a little bit down there in the middle but that's okay um, so we're gonna go ahead and check the TDS here again and uh, for shrimp they usually like to keep it at around less than 200 but I like to keep mine at around 100 it's easy easier for them to molt um, so around 150 is pretty good just stay in the middle so now we're at 72 so at this point right here we would just get a little bit more because I like mine at around 100 it dissolves pretty quick so We'll just give it a, a little minute and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's totally dissolved. Now we're going to check it again. So this is around 93. So to me, this is acceptable and I will no longer put any more salty shrimp. And this RO water is now remineralized and good for shrimp. The um, salty shrimp is not the only powder to be remineralized with RO water. 
Um, with planted tanks, a lot of people use RO water. There's less um, phosphates and nutrients in the water for algae to grow. So with RO water, you get less algae. Um, so with a regular fish tank, there's a lot of different type of remineralization uh, products out there. Fluval has a lot that a lot of people like. And uh, you can just do your research. You should be able to find some at your local PetSmart or Petco. And um, they're, they're pretty common. So that's how I make uh, RO water for my shrimp tank. And as you can see, it keeps it really clear. The plants grow really well. And the shrimp are doing fine. So, okay guys, that's how I make my RO water. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. And uh, if you guys can give me a thumbs up, share, etc. That'd be great. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. Bye.